Because Meta is really dominating the open source AI world, OpenAI thought that I also need to do something. And here they are. They have released a really nice and very easy framework, uh, agent framework called Swarm. It's an open source platform. That means you can use it on your own. You can modify it. You can do a lot of things. And the best part is it is working with open AI. Is it the best part or a worst part? I don't know. But yes, you can do that. It's dead easy, amazingly easy. And you will going to get the concept very, very quickly. And, and we are going to actually try it out right now. Just all of these features, the examples they have given, we're going to try them and see how easy it is to understand the new amazing Swarm framework. So welcome to Bitfumes, I'm your host Sarthak and this video is all about the OpenAI, open source, an agent framework called Swarm. And if you're new to this channel, please go and subscribe to this channel because that's giving me motivation to create amazing content just like this one. And if you don't know me, I'm just a technology lover like you. And right now I'm learning about the AI, teaching AI, consulting AI. And if you have any question related to AI, just email me and you will find the email in the description. Okay, so without wasting time, let's get started. The very first thing about this Swarm framework is it's an experimental and educational. This means they have specifically said that do not use this framework in the production. So if you see here, it's written, it is not intended to be used in production. But if you want, you can use the concept here and create your own framework because the concept is very, very simple. You know what the concept is? Concept of hands off and routines. And they have explained all these things in this amazing, nice blog post from OpenAI Cookbook. And this explains the routines. What are routines basically? Basically, it says that the set of instructions or the rules AI need to follow for a specific agent. And if you go down, you will find about the hands off. So what is hands off? Hands off is basically giving the power to another agent. That means transferring from one agent to another agent is actually hands off. They defined it as an agent or routine, handing off an active conversation to another agent, much like you get the con uh, transfer to someone else on the phone call. So see, suppose you want to do three tasks. So you have created three agent. The agent one is let's say doing a call. Agent two is just getting the summary of that call. And agent three is creating some, let's say assessment questions about the call. So all these things, all these agents will transfer from one agent to another agent when they want. So first, if the call is done, then it transfer to agent two. Say, hey, my call is done. Here is the recording, just get the summary. And once we get the summary, then we hand off to the third agent. So similar to that, but it will be good if you read this article. Now let's get back to the Swarm repo and see how it actually works. So to use this and to install this Swarm in your Python project, it's very, very easy. Just say pip install and the repository URL. And once you are done with that, you can create a new instance of the Swarm and then start working with it. You can create a new agent. Agent is also imported from Swarm and you define three things for an agent name, instruction and if you want to provide any function here is the function now if you are familiar with the function calling or tool calling of the open ai thing then this is exactly similar so if you give some functions as a tool in the open ai api then similar to that you are also doing the same you are providing some function or tool to your agent so 
agent is doing something and if they need they can call a function to complete the task once that's done they can also have another agent another agent could have the functions or not that means a function is the optional thing once you have all the agents you need then you can provide client run provide the master agent the agent which is starting the journey and then it can do all the task that's so simple it's really the simplest ever thing i have seen for the ai world and now let's see if you just want to see some examples here it has also given so first of all you have the master or triage assistant now triage assistant will decide whether it need to call a function whether it need to return a result or whether it need to transfer the journey or the conversation to another agent so here you can see this triage assistant transferring or in the term of swarm it's a hand off to weather assistant now weather assistant now decide whether it need to call a function whether it need to return result or calling another agent so obviously to get the weather it need to call a function it get the function and it get the result and finally it return the result okay all of these things is actually available in the example set of this swarm now to understand any coding thing you just need to see the code and try it out so let's first see the basic example given for this swarm so see there are various examples given one is for hand off the agent transferring thing then just setting up of the agent then how to use context variable function calling and loop i am interested in all these four things because they are really the backbone of any agenting thing in ai so all the examples are given here let's start with bare minimum in the bare minimum it just say that how you need to create an agent how you need to create an instance and then how actually you are going to call and get the result very very simple isn't it now once you know how to set up then i will go to the function calling because function calling is a thing which i think is very basic to use in the open ai or basically in the ai world this is really amazing see they have created a function they have attached this function to agent like at this place and then similar to previous one just use the agent and then get the result wow that's great now once you have this function thing then you can use this function thing to hand off of the agents how we have created two agent agent 1 agent 2 english agent spanish agent then we create a function and attach this function to the english agent now english agent is having a function then we are calling the agent the english agent and then english agent can transfer it to spanish agent because this is a spanish word so this is the way it can use the function calling to transfer the agent or basically the hand off of agent and finally what if you want to use some data which will be available in every function you create for every agent so see we created this agent we have added a function print account detail now print account detail how it will get the data so for that we are creating a context variable which when we are running attached to this swarm and this means whenever we are calling any function this context variable is available that means all the data is available in entire journey okay so we got these things it would be good if we can really try it out and that's what we are doing right now now to really try all these example we have just seen we first need to clone this repository yeah git clone and once we have all these in our local system then we need to create an virtual environment so that everything will be inside the virtual environment and then pip install this swarm framework once you have everything then you can directly go to the example basic and then run any example you want so let's go and see uh, 
all these things but before that i just want to make sure that you need to have the open ai api key as an environment variable so here i have exported this open ai api key and don't try to use this because i'm going to remove this just after this recording anyways once you have done all these things then you can simply go into the uh, example basic and then inside that i can simply say python or maybe i can just go into this okay i can do this python examples weather not weather first let's try the basic and simple loop no helper this simple loop no helper is creating an agent and then it's having a while loop while user have conversation just go on and on and here we go we can say hey what is 2 plus 2 and it's going to return agent says 4 okay nice this is a really great example but the real fun lies on not on the basic but on let's say on the weather agent so instead of this let's try the weather agent so i'm going to say weather agent running the weather agent and say uh, temperature in new delhi so it's going to now call a function by agent which is getting the actual temperature and returning here so see what happened in this so when i run it it's just having a loop and that's why it's never ending thing okay once you have this loop it's having the weather agent weather agent comes from agents here we have the agent now weather agent is having three things obviously the name the instruction and the function so see this is a weather agent get weather function and here it called the get weather function now get weather function right now it just returning the exact temperature all the time hard coded thing but at least it can call the function we can get the temperature however we want and finally we get the result as here so it's damn easy that's what i'm saying and if you want to try it out i highly recommend you to try this really amazing agent and this is the simplest ever agent thing i have seen it is just going to kill all the agenting thing we still have for the ai world and i want your opinion what do you think what this agent can do what swam can do for you what idea you have let me know in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed to this youtube channel just go and subscribe now now go go just now now subscribe it and share this video with your friends who doesn't know about the swam or even who have idea about the swam but have not tried it because i have given the examples like how you can really try this swam so once again if you have any question, let me know in the comment section or email me. See you in the next video. Till then, goodbye.